What is up, you guys? It's your host, Galadon. Thank you for stopping by Galadon Gaming Clash Royale. And today, we're talking about the best awful deck in Clash Royale. Now, the reason I call it that, or actually rather you guys call it that, uh, but what happens is every time I show a replay of Apexes in either a live stream or a video, I get endless comments talking about how bad this deck is. So I thought I would ask Apex to share some replays in the clan chat and we could take a look at this awful deck that is getting Apex past 5,000 trophies every single season as a level 12. Now, his cards are pretty much maxed out. At least the cards in this deck are. He's used the same deck over at least three different updates at this point. And he keeps on winning. He keeps on being competitive in the clan. Uh, pretty much passes all the other level 12s. And we have some pretty good players in our clan. And he uh, gives me a run for my money every single season as well. So this is what some would call a deck that can't win. So I'm going to give you guys a challenge in the meantime. And that is tweet me at hashtag can't win deck. And give me a deck that you think cannot possibly win. And uh, I'll throw the challenge out to some of my full attack clan members and see if they can't pop into a challenge and grab wins with your absolute worst idea for a can't win deck. In the meantime, we're watching Apex. Well, he's already got a tower down. He's suffering a lot of damage on that right tower. So obviously we're going into overtime should that need to happen. But let me tell you something about this deck. Two things. Number one. Apex almost always seems to lose a tower in these battles. And number two, well, Apex almost always comes back and grabs the three crown win. Now, maybe partially it's his strategy, it's catching the other player off guard, but Apex loves to go for those threes, especially against the level 13 players. And right here, you can see he's pushing for that second crown with less than a minute left. He can't get silly and push for a three crown right away. So he's going in trying to get that tower on the right hand side, even though the King's Tower is down to about half health. His own tower on the left, a little bit of damage there, but obviously 25 hit points left on his opponent's tower on the right-hand side. It doesn't look good. In fact, any second now, he will grab that second tower and take the 2-1 lead in the final 30 seconds. But that is one of the weaknesses of this deck. Check out that average elixir cost, you guys. 4.9. Maybe that's part of the reason that people say this deck is so, so bad. But I am going to have to insist it comes down to player skill more than just the deck. And although Apex loses a second tower, the pressure is on, the race is on rather, for that third crown. And you can see that Apex has a huge advantage right now as we go into overtime. Apex with over 5k left on his King's Tower and the opponent... Well, not looking so good, especially when you've got things like balloons, golems, and of course the Inferno Dragons headed at you. Massive amounts of damage can come very, very quickly. There goes the balloon and the dragon taking out the furnace, headed right in for the tower. The Mega Minion latches onto the dragon, not the balloon, and the balloon just annihilating that tower down to double digits, and that is it. Three crowns for Apex over a level 13 player, one of... I just have to say many, many wins just like this. So again, you guys, hashtag can't win deck. Send me your deck that you think can't possibly win because I'm sure there's some players out there that think it comes down to deck, but I'm going to insist it's not. It's skill. I mean, come on. I You've seen me copy the number one player in the world's deck and I can't get anywhere near it. Uh, I barely break the leaderboards in the US every season and that's if I'm lucky. All right, so we're going to pop into another battle. Same deck from Apex, another level 13 player. This guy from Nova and Apex again starting off defensively. The Dragon and in comes the Balloon early this time. And that Balloon, man, it is a dangerous card. If you don't have a good way to stop it, it is going to annihilate anything in its path right through the furnace and check it out. It is going to get to that tower, dropping the bomb right away, that newly buffed Balloon just about finishes off the tower the wizard does the rest of the job and we are barely 45 seconds into this match apex already has a tower down chipping away at the king's tower but again the 4.9 deck really not so much about fast reaction defense 
This is about muscling your way to the tower with massive amounts of damage and not so much picking off things like elite barbs and of course royal giants that are coming at you. Not a whole lot of good counters in this deck for that. But again, Apex is just counting on the muscle behind this deck, the massive troops, all those hit points, and of course, high damage output. So in comes the Golem down the right-hand side, Barbarians in down the left, Valkyrie is going to counter. Now the opponent drops a Lightning Spell there, and that does force Apex to counter the remaining Barbs. Not sure about that usage right there, probably not the best idea, because check out the Golem. Even with the Skeleton Army on top of it, they, of course, pop when the Golem does. Golemites, minions, dragon, all on that right-hand tower. And suddenly, Apex now putting pressure on the right tower, down to below 2,000 hit points, and we're just about to get into double elixir. Apex can already smell the three crown. You know what's coming, you guys. He seems to have a way of trying to push for that three every single time. And it was great to see these shared in clan chat. On the left-hand side comes a big push right as Apex dropped the Golem down the right. Now, unfortunately, the Wizard squeezed its way past the Golem, but check it out. As Apex loses the left tower, that right tower is just going to get annihilated. The opponent's only chance is a massive push for the Three Crown himself down the left-hand side, easily defended by the Valkyrie and the Dragon. In the meantime, Golem on the King's Tower, 25 seconds left. Wizard in to help as well. And you can see, although it looks pretty close right here, Apex is just grinding away. The Golem doing so much damage there. And, well, it's just a lightning spell away from a three crown. In comes the Dragon. The Valkyrie time is counting down. Apex is ready to put the coup de grace on this one. There it is, the lightning spell for the three crown right before time runs out. So maybe Apex with that element of surprise using a deck that, well, admittedly, probably not a lot of other players are using. None that I've seen, and that tends to throw players off when they're not expecting certain cards to come in in combination. The ground and the air, you don't see that that often, especially the Inferno Dragon. That seems to be the Inferno Dragon Golem combination, one of the most unusual parts about this deck. So we're going to pop into yet another battle against a level 13. Apex one more time showing off this very unorthodox to say the least and terrible to say the worst deck but I mean come on you guys after watching this battle you're either going to admit that this deck isn't all that bad or you're just going to tell me down in the comments that all the players he faced were awful and and that's typical but go ahead I'll, I'll go ahead I you can go down there and come on back I'll wait for you all right once again Apex 45 seconds in grabbing a tower this is the way this deck works. One huge push, but like I keep saying again, this isn't the type of deck that really works ideally to just sit back and relax after you've grabbed a crown. And you can see that Apex doesn't mess around. He is not about defending a tower. He would rather move on to the next one. He's got the Golem going down the right lane early on. So you know that he's already given up that left tower. He didn't really defend it at all except for the Valkyrie. She's going to get wiped out. In comes the Golem down the right-hand side one more time. The Wizard taking out the Minion Horde. Golem, despite the Skeleton Army, they pop. Golemites get to the tower. And you saw this before. We are starting to get a good look at Apex's strategy as the minions moved in after the golem popped into golemites. He did nothing to try to counter the skeleton army. He just used the explosion of the golem to do the work for him. The minions come in and he grinds off about a thousand hit points off that tower early on in this battle. So you kind of can see after a couple battles here the way Apex is using this. He isn't completely giving up a tower. Obviously he's defending but rarely with more than one unit. So it's more so to stop the big push that would come all the way through that tower and then three crown him. In the meantime, he's working on going for that second tower and replay after replay after replay, way more than just these three that I'm sharing with you today in this video, were showing that Apex would lose a tower, come back and take two, or more often than not, come back and take three. The level 12 players that he was beating it was almost too easy to watch, so I asked him to share just level 13 players getting beaten. And again, you guys, Apex, check out full attack stats. He passed his 5,000 trophies every single season, pushing closer to 5,100 and beyond as a level 12. And I gotta say, that's pretty good with a deck that a lot of people want to call terrible. 
one more time. This one just about going into overtime. It looks like he's going to win 2-1, but check out the wizard there. Last shot on the tower, and as time runs out, Apex loses the tower and grabs the 3-2 win. So once again, you guys, tweet me at hashtag can't win deck. Let me know the deck that you think can't possibly win a battle. For now, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this episode. Make sure you check me out live streaming on beam.pro slash Galadon. Have a fantastic rest of your day and make sure you come back again tomorrow for more full attacks. Gold, if you don't let me speak at the end of your video, so I'm going to have to make my end.